first dance I remember, I think was um, was a battalion of majorettes in a seaside town in France when I was a very, very, very young child. I must have been three or four. So, um, so I think the impression was scary, awe-inspiring, and uh, outlandish. Um, so that was uh, that was the first memory of dance. Then um, the choreography that I first remember loving, I believe, um, I believe was in the middle, somewhat elevated by William Forsythe. As um, the way it happened is, I ended up pretty much walking on stage during the dress rehearsal of the world premiere of that piece. Um, I had been working in the building in Paris Opera for some time and we'd heard that strange music and uh, I was doing a photo shoot at the back of, uh, of the stage in the, in the Foyer de la Danse and then that music was very present and very close and so um, we ended up going to see what it was and it was... So we walked on stage, there was no wings, there was nothing, a huge empty stage, one light and a, a pair of golden chairs. Um, so that was a massive impact physically um, to be there on that on that stage at the same time. Um, I ended up going to see the the performance, of course, later on, and and the choreography completely blew me away um, for several reasons. I think it's because it was absolutely classical in the very pure sense of the word, but it was also completely modern um, and reflecting who I, I was at that time, which was a I guess a 16 year old guy in Paris so it meant a lot and I think that's why the choreography um, was so so striking uh, throughout the years I, it's never disappointed me I'm actually going to see it later on tonight and I'm really really excited about it so that's the that's the piece of, uh, of choreography that I first loved as far as um, what made me fall for dance um, it's it's a very it's a very hard on answer to give. I think um, at the time when I was a child, I started dancing. I was really, really, really young. I was uh, six years old, so it was very much about um, um, the physicality that made me interested in it, um, the fact that my girlfriend was there, and um, and I think it was still already um, as as a child. I, I was very excited by the fact that it was um, a relationship with myself um, and that it was more than a sport there was something else to it then as an adult and much later on in life I realized that there were tons of other reasons why I fell for dance and um, my mother used to tell me when she was younger she used to be a fantastic dancer and um, in the 50s in ballrooms and so I guess there was a little bit of projection of that for my part and um, and then then I think it was also yeah it was something which was between a sport I used to do judo as well and I used to ski a lot so it was there was something very physical in dancing and yet there was something very I guess artistic even though at the time I didn't know what it was to to do something artistic, my family isn't at all artistic, so, um, so it's this combination that always interested me in dance, and I think to that day actually it's probably what keeps me interested in it, it's very, it's a bit the yin and the yang, it's very much, once you think it's purely physical in the movement, then it strikes you with its meaning and uh, what it could signify, and then when you get lost in the realm of ideas and significations, then suddenly, purely physical. And so, yeah, 35 years on, I think it's pretty much the same thing that I love about it.